I love the resource that learned to dance, Claire. It's oh, so nice to see you. you. Thank well, you for coming in. Th oh, what a day to have paperback publication, hey? <laughs> Maybe brilliant. Maybe you know everyone's what? going to be reading. And I they think want, people yeah. will be, and I think people want escapism. They want a good story. I mean, you know, heartwarming story with a great girl power message, is what Jacqueline Wilson said. Well, funnily enough, I was thinking about it, and obviously I finished it over a year ago, but it's a book about friendship. It's about adapting when circumstances change. Sure. It's about being brave. It's about teamwork. It's about our relationship with animals. So actually, it seems strangely topical. It's very topical. It really is. And based, all of your books, based on a real, true person that you met and were very inspired well, by? Well, actually, this one, inspired by a story of, of a, a... Generally, of work I've done with RDA, Writing yeah. for the Disabled, which, sadly, another victim of the crisis, I know. all their groups have had to shut. Have they? That's yeah. Really sad. Now, obviously, the horses still have to be looked after, and there are still grooms, and, and this is true across the equestrian right. world, and my brother's a racehorse trainer, and, you know, he's got nearly 200 horses and a big lot of staff as well. They're, everyone's keeping going as best they can. Of course. But, gosh, doesn't it make you treasure those small community groups like an RDA group? Yep. Because for the families that they help, you, you know, the children obviously would be considered... Um, that some of them might have underlying health conditions. That's true, some might be honest. Yeah. A lot of the volunteers are in the age group that is vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So they're no longer able to gather. And it's such a shame because that brings so much joy. And it is all about teaching children to be braver than maybe their parents want them to be. So sure. with that theme, I, I kind of thought, right, let's write something that I know to be true. Mm -hmm. And then I met a girl called Olivia Cornick, who as a student had developed a, a, a condition with her brain that meant she had to go in and have an operation. It had gone slightly wrong. Right. She lost the feeling in one side of her body. And she decided as part of her therapy to take up riding, wow. having not really been wow. horsey at all. And now she's on the fringes of the Paralympic team. I went to watch her have a lesson and, and then based my instructor in that on the teacher that she had. I mean, obviously, hugely exaggerated <laughs> and for comic effect, but I was so impressed with the way the instructor was pushing her through, yeah. you know, outside her comfort zone. And I think that's terribly important always in life to... True. To be taken. No, your, absolutely. Your and you're risk. right. I hadn't thought about it like that. You know, that all the horses will still need to be taken care of. Mm. Because sport's decimated, isn't it? I mean, there's Yeah, I mean the spring that for sports fans, you know, oh, is basically I know. Grand National Boat Race Masters, all of that gone, French Open gone. Mm. But even all those wonderful things, Chelsea Flower Show gone, Glastonbury yep. gone. And I really believe we've got to treasure these things when we get through all of this to say, gosh. Aren't they special? That's true, not be taking them so much for granted. It isn't shared it? experience special? But yeah. we can, and you know, you'll be setting yourself, I'm sure, all sorts of challenges. But, you know, I am, like many, I'm determined to get fit. <laughs> so <laughs> when we come through this, <laughs> even if we can't go to Zumba, no. I'm going to be walking yeah. and tramping up and down hills. Absolutely. And you're obviously, you now your wee dog, is he not about 15 years old? He now? was 15 on Sunday. Oh, Archie oh, was. He had a special gosh. birthday cake that I got him from Crafts. Oh, look. Yes. He was quite keen to eat all of it. Well, um, obviously. He, it was rationed, and he has been having a slice as his little oh, treat. Please, gorgeous. And we record, so I do this podcast called Dogcast, so we recorded the kids singing Happy Birthday to him. He's had a haircut since then. He looks beautiful. He had a haircut yesterday. He looks about 10 years younger. But don't they do it? Isn't that amazing? They, and much yeah. trimmer as well. Absolutely. So I now I've realised he's not fat. He just had a lot of hair. He just had a lot of hair. <laughs> but don't you find, I mean, when I go home, there's Angus Pangus. When I go oh. home and that wee boy greets me at the door, even at the moment, it just you just feel better, don't you? I you just feel better. I absolutely agree. And, and you, you know, seeing other people who are walking their dogs and obviously, you, you know, from a distance, waving and chatting, and dogs give you a reason to talk to complete, they do. complete strangers. Absolutely they do. And I yeah. do all the time. Yeah. No, too, right? So yeah. do I. And I love, the, I love this idea of dog cast because you get a totally different interview with people when you're talking about their dogs. I, mean, I know you talk to Jennifer Saunders, you talk to many, many people, but it's a completely different interview. Yeah, we went for a walk with... Out so much more. I like know. People. Well, Jennifer and Olive, her whippet, yes. um, and we went for a walk with her on the Hampstead Heath on Monday, and, and Jennifer was appearing in Blythe Spirit, and the theatres got shut. Of course. Monday night or Tuesday yes. night, but anyway, I think she went in and yep. it was it was off. Mm. Um, but yeah, Olive's gorgeous, and her reasons for getting a whippet as well. And I, I talked to Andrea McLean about she fosters from Battersea That's and true. then fell in love with Teddy and couldn't get and Teddy how could back. You? Well, exactly. Teddy. Of I mean, course. But you're right. You do get a very different conversation, a different mm. interview. You and, a, um, and it is about love, isn't it? It's just yeah. about love and no. about what it's makes true. you feel... Um, I, I think what makes you feel that sense of responsibility and 
it's really, yeah. I think it's... Uh, you and know, it's kind of like, especially at the moment, it's kind of like taking care of something makes you feel yeah. better as well. Yeah. And actually, a few of the interesting things... That, so we, do, we give veterinary advice in it yeah. as well, and Jessica Holm, who I work with on Crufts, she gives very good mm. behavioural advice and, and lots of information about different breeds. But I went to this fantastic online veterinary clinic called First Vets, and they're doing all their consultations for free during coronavirus wow. online. So you do a video Fantastic. call. And actually, a lot of things... I mean, I, I'm involved in a reading app called Finetti that's going free for three months for all the kids right. that are off school. Teaches them to read out loud, listens this to them. This is great. Words light up green when they can say them right. You double tap if you can't say it. Keeps right. So all these things, I think there are lots of ways in which we're going to learn to live that when we come through it good habits we probably should maintain. I think you're absolutely right, I really do. And Ramblings is going to be continuing on Radio 4, right? Yes, Ramblings is currently in the middle of a I series. I love Ramblings. Which, which, oh, thank you, which luckily we did finish recording. Good. And then it looks like the next series we'll probably do uh, at Best Of, which, it, to be honest, we've probably done 400 programmes. I've been doing it for 20 years, so wow. there's quite a lot of Best Of. There sure is. Yeah. And meanwhile, we can read The Racehorse Who Learned to Dance. It's lovely. It's just lovely. Oh, it's just exactly. feel happy. Oh, th this is what we want, Claire. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. And great to see you. And we'll just keep going until we can't. We will keep going, Lorraine. <laughs> we will keep smiling. We'll we keep will. everyone else smiling. And that's, that's why we'll keep watching you. Oh, thank you. Great to see you. <laughs> it really is. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.